Good evening. Today we're in New York City. We're gonna get matching goth couple tattoos, but they're not matching like we're getting names together or faces. It's basically a similar style tattoo. Um, I mean, you're gonna see the end product in the end. It's very cool. Really looking forward to this. The artist is Dom Kelly Tattoo on Instagram. I will link his profile in the video description if you wanna see. Uh, very excited. Yeah, very he's excited. at the tattoo parlor is called Algorithm Tattoo. It's I went there last year, last year or two years ago and got um, work done myself. So he's really good. I'm just excited. So we're just gonna go and get tattooed with us. So I'm outside right now. I gotta do a few pickups. Midnight Owl, she's in the chair right now. We decided for her to go first because her placement is slightly different. So her tattoo is slightly bigger. She's gonna have it on her thigh. So time-wise, it made more sense for her to go first. The reason I like this artist so much is he has a very dark style. He's inspired by things like Giger. I still want a specific Giger to do at some point. And Salvador Dali, who's my favorite artist. But he just has a really cool, dark, gothic style. Um, the way he does sceneries, and specifically the way he does animals, is just very cool. So, I know, I'm very excited. So this is day two, he wasn't able to put both of us in the first day, which we kind of expected. Uh, it's my turn now, I'm very excited. I'm even more excited now that I've seen Midnight Owl's final result. It's absolutely incredible. You like it? I love it. Yeah. So I'm going to show you some of her process as well and her tattoo in the end where we'll show a comparison of both of them and then you'll see what I mean with they're like couple tattoos but not the same thing. It's awesome. All right, so they, he put the stencil on. They kind of had to like angle it a little bit to get it, you know, like perfect the way we wanted it, but looks good. Oh, and they changed it around. Originally, he had this, the rat was on that side, but he had to switch it just because it fit better on this side. I would just say usually faces is if you angle them inwards, so it makes more sense. Yeah.
<laughs> I liked it when it was right on mine too. I was like, it looks good. One artist I still want to go to lives near me in France. Um, he goes by knives. He does like black work, but then he incorporates like one color aesthetic to either red or blue, and it creates a really cool like um, contrast between just two colors, the, yeah. the black and the colors, like this is really cool. So that's the end of our tattoo vlog. You can see Midnight Owl's version on her channel. There's you know, different details, different angles and everything. Overall, I'm very happy with this experience. The tattoos look absolutely amazing. You can see now what I meant with it's like matching tattoos, but without being the same thing. It's like we had a similar design and then we both just gave the tattoo artist like a bunch of shit to put in there. And he looked at what worked and put it together it looks absolutely amazing um i just love his like really dark style like the gothic landscape and sceneries what he does with animals this is very cool um when it comes to paint for me uh like the the inside of my arm and the top near my armpit definitely really hurt a lot mine didn't uh, hurt at all yeah like, <laughs> you like you have like a big area on the leg yeah. so that's pretty good but I already told the artist, like, I love his work so much. I have more plans for different tattoos and specific things that just match with his style. So I definitely will be going back there again. Like, the studio looks amazing. Like, he's very attentive to details when it comes to the tattoos itself, the placement, design, like, every little demand or mm -hmm. things that we ask, like, he took that into account. Yeah, I actually have, like, a an old tattoo here with like wrong incorrect spelling on it and he said he could like try to rework it and fix it I, was, I might have to get part of it lasered but like he can fix the actual rest of it he said so that's something that i might want to get in the future is to go to him and have something done like that yeah like he does so we have more like a stylized dark tattoo that's what we wanted like a gothic kind of scenery thing but he does very incredible realism as well he's inspired by dali and giger and those are some of my favorite artists as well, which is why I'm going to go back there still. But all in all, I'll put his link and everything in the description. Uh, his Instagram, you can check it out for yourself. He's like a really nice guy. And like yeah. the way he talks with you, he's very calm and soothing and everything. Um, like the studio has like TV on and music. Um, you can take a break whenever you want. Like I don't know, a lot of artists, they're like very finicky when it comes to all of that stuff. I just felt... I felt, I felt like, he cared, like he cared. Yeah. Like how we felt, we were comfortable. If like if we if it was exactly what we wanted with the tattoos, the angles, and like everything, he was just like really like into knowing what we wanted. You know, yeah. he wasn't like cocky and was like, oh, like I'm just gonna do this. Like he wasn't like that at all. Yeah, he, with the with the placement for my arm, he really reworked it several times so that you know he took mm -hmm. orientation and movement of the muscles into account. Like he cared himself about what he does, and that just showed. Yeah. So yeah, either way. Let me know what you guys think of the tattoos. I'm more than sad. It became better than I could have imagined. Yeah, but yeah, absolutely love it. So check out all the stuff in the video description. Subscribe to Midnight Owl and go watch her video as well. We both recorded separately our own thing. So you're not going to see the same video twice. So definitely go check it out. And subscribe if you want more dark content on my channel as well. And as always, be kind to one another. Even in the dark.